Here I am on the floor of the studio for the third time in a row. Today I'm just going to be talking about this mod. I think you've seen this mod before, but you haven't seen this. I don't think I've ever featured this. I'm going to talk about how each of these got their names, and I say each because there's two. Yep. This has got a front now. I feel like I've shown this off, but I haven't. I know I haven't, because I just have the video where I painted this. The base long shot here is Jazz, and the reason that it gets its name is because it's very high power, and when you're aiming something with high power at someone, and they're jumping around, looks like they're dancing, right? I know, that's stupid, but... I had to come up with a meaning for that name because uh, I would just sound stupid giving something a name without having a reason for it. It is a pump action long shot. This is the top of a retaliator. There is a fully sealed brass breech in here, which I, I can actually show off, I think. I don't know if this lighting will allow that. All right. Yeah, so uh, that's the problem with it. It hates waffle head darts, and I think that the end of the front of the breech is bent in, so the larger heads of the waffle heads won't fit in there very well. And I like waffle heads because they're accurate, but for some reason, this thing will throw elite darts very far, very straight. But I don't like elite darts. And with a very light spring in here, I'm punching 130 to 140 FPS. I think I just have a long strike spring inside the original, and I have another spring that I want to put in here, but I found out this bar that I have connecting from the pump to the bolt sled is not plexiglass, it's freaking plastic. There's some of it. It's in the front too, hope you can see that right there. Then we have this thing, the front attachment. I call this one pizzazz. Jazz and pizzazz. It's stupid, I know. I tried so hard to come up with a meaning for this one. I think... I looked up the definition of pizzazz. I think it was, um... New, like, different and attractive. I'll tell you right now, this is not attractive. Look at that. Oh my god. It gets worse. Look at the paint, man. I think this took me three days to paint, and that's not a lot of time. <laughs> so attractiveness is not the pizzazz this has. It's the new and different effect. So I'll put it on here, show you what this does. So this is a recon barrel, and then on the bottom, this is a Busby Clash Combat Pistol which is the same as the Wizard, but it has a shorter barrel. And it's a four-shot rotating AR system, which I absolutely hated, so I wanted to make it into a shotgun pistol. And that ended up failing, so I was about to throw it out, and then I found some air leaks in it, and I got it to shoot 40 feet. And the way I undermounted this was side-mounting the trigger in here, so it has a slot, and it's a mess on the inside, but I think it works. I'll shoot him about 30, 35 feet. What's even better about this is I can use it by itself. Whoever would have been at the end of the room right there is dead. If you had um, a corridor, like a long corridor, and you had a team of two side by side, you could take them, both of them out no problem. And I think this works better than Jazz. And the reason this is new and different as that part of the definition of pizzazz is because I don't think anyone has ever done one of these uh, pistols with a side-mounted trigger. This was my idea, at least to my knowledge. I don't know if anyone else has done this. So that long shot is my best mod so far. But I'm already really experienced with springers. And something I'm not super experienced with 
that I'm going to be building this summer. This is the only hint I'm giving you because it's going to take forever for all my materials to get here. But if you know what this is, you already know what I'm doing. And I suck at it. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs>